How's it going everyone? Indy Sean 45 coming at you. It's been a long time. Feels great to be back. I hope you all have been doing well. It's that time of year again. It's time to talk some college football. Now this is my first official video for the 2013-2014 college football season. Um, I'm entering my fifth season of doing Notre Dame football videos here on YouTube and uh, I tell you the time sure has flew by real fast. Um, it seems like just yesterday I was getting started doing all this. But I gotta tell you guys, it's been it's been real fun. It's gotten a lot more fun each and every year that I've been doing this. And you know, I, all I can say is thank you to all my viewers and my subscribers and the new friends that I made on here in the last five years. Um, but uh, anyway, for this first video, I just wanted to do a, a little brief preview of this upcoming season for Notre Dame and just you know talk about a few things that have been on my mind. And um, to be honest with you guys, I really don't have a set format for this video. I'm pretty much just going to talk about offense and defense separately, so that's pretty much it. Maybe a few other side things, but we'll just uh, we'll see uh, go along and see where this all goes. So, But uh, I'll tell you guys one thing. Um, I am so glad that in a week and a half from now, football will be starting, because since the loss to Alabama in the national championship game, this whole offseason has just been just a roller coaster of a mess. I mean, it's been, I mean, it's been hard being a Notre Dame fan. I mean, first it was the the Manti Teo girlfriend hoax, and then Brian Kelly flirting with the Eagles, um, some key guys transferring to other schools, um, big time recruits decommitting from us, and then to top it all off, the Everett Golson suspension. And it's like, when does it all end? I mean, you know, I'm sure somewhere with, you know, if I with doing some research, I'm sure there's been some uh, tumultuous times for other programs, but in my time, I have never seen a program go through so much in, su in such a short period of time. It's 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 just unbelievable and ridiculous. And so, uh, thank God football starts next week. Just uh, hit the field, uh, silence the critics for uh, for at least a little bit. <laughs> but um, but anyway. As it stands right now, um, despite everything that's going on with uh, the Notre Dame football program, I still think we're in pretty good shape to make another run at a BCS, possibly another national championship. Now, a lot of you out there are going to think I'm crazy for saying that, but it's really not that far off from the truth because really when you think about it and you actually look at this team, and anyone who follows this team knows what I'm talking about, we still have a lot of great talent in place, and we've made some additions to it. Now, Let's start on the offensive side of the ball. Now, obviously, the big concern with all of us in Irish fan nation is the quarterback situation. Without, that's the key thing. Now, obviously, Everett Golson's suspension comes at a bad time. I mean, you know, he made some great strides at the end of last season, and you know, we were all looking forward to seeing him build on that and do even better this year. Well, it's not the case. We're going to be going back to Tommy Reese as a starting quarterback, and you know, I've said, you know, a few times in the past that I don't, you know, think Tommy's the answer for us. Now, this is one of those times where I'm going to have to eat my words because he has to be the man for us. You know, there's we don't really don't have any other options. And, I mean, no disrespect to the quarterbacks behind him, but I'll get to that in a second. But, um, despite how I feel about, you know, what, whether, regardless of what I think about Tommy Reese's skills as a football player, I, I've, I've always supported him. You know, anyone who plays for Notre Dame, I support them, and I will have their back. And, you know, let, but let's be realistic here. Tommy Reese, he's not a dual-threat quarterback like Everett Golson. You know, he's primarily a pocket quarterback. And, you know, that's really... I mean, now granted, he's been trying in the last year and even in this offseason to get some mobility into his game, but he's not a mobile quarterback. So, I mean, he's gonna. we're going to have to rely on a lot of a lot of uh, you know, the supporting cast around him to get the job done so we can win some football games and you know try to repeat what we what we did a year ago, but improve on that. Wink, wink. <laughs> but um, but no, I mean, I think I do think we have the tools in place to do that. I mean, we have a great offensive line, and not only do we have a great off offensive line, but we have some great depth and talent behind it. We have an outstanding running back core, you know, guys like George Atkinson the third, Amir Carlisle, who will finally get to see make his Irish debut. Um, 
Will Mahone, who's been waiting for his opportunity, and newcomers Greg Bryant and Torian Folston. I mean, those guys have nothing but great potential. Bryant, he looks like a big beast of a guy. I cannot wait to see him in action. So, running game, I think, is going to play a huge, huge role in this upcoming season. I mean, we got a great receiving core with guys like T.J. Jones, DeVaris Daniels, Chris Brown, um, James Awanalu, an incoming freshman who I've heard a lot of great things about, uh, Corey Robinson, as we all know, is the son of David Robinson, uh, San Antonio Spurs great. And then we have a slew of tight ends to throw to. I mean, Alex Welsh, Ben Koyak, uh, incoming, incoming freshman Mike Uerman, and so on and so forth. And, you know, going back to the quarterback situation here for a minute, I know I'm kind of all over the place, but uh, the one unfortunate thing that concerns me, and I'm not really unfortunate, but just the, a big concerning factor for me, is last year when Golson was the starter, you know, we had a security blanket with Tommy Reese backing him up. But this year, that's not the case, because we have Tommy Reese, and then behind him we have Andrew Hendricks, and then incoming freshman Malik Zaire. Now, I'm not trying to dog uh, Andrew Hendricks or anything like that, and maybe this isn't quite fair to say, because we really haven't gotten a chance to see a whole lot of him, but... See, here's the thing with Hendricks. He can get the job done with his legs. Okay, we've seen him do that. But it's his arm, which is a concern for me, because he has thrown some pretty bad interceptions, and his accuracy is just not there. I mean, now granted, he, you know, he's had all offseason to work on it, and, you know, I, I hope he proves me wrong. And then you got incoming freshman Malik Zaire. Now, this kid has some unbelievably huge potential. I mean, he's only played one spring game, and that's not enough to judge a player, I know, but you know, he has, he's basically the same kind of quarterback as Golson. Dual threat, can make plays with his arm and his leg, great arm strength, great accuracy, you know, the works. He's got the huge potential to be a great star. But here's the thing, though, and I'm just taking a guess here, there's no, uh, Brian Kelly, you just know that he, he will not play him if he doesn't have to. Because, you know, he's going to want to not play him, get the experience, have him take a red shirt year. If that's possible, I don't know. But it's, uh, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm getting at, is it's a pretty tight window. And we really have no security blanket if, uh, if Tommy Reese goes down to injury or if he doesn't perform. So, I mean, if, you know, if we have to go with Andrew Hendricks, I mean, I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to be a little bit worried if that happens. But... You know, again, I want to be wrong if that does happen in that, you know, in, in that situation. I want to be wrong. But, um, but uh, you know, aside from what I've had to say about Tommy Reese, I mean, the, the, the kid has a great attitude. I mean, every role that he's been in, you know, he's embraced it, he's accepted it, and he's, he's uh, been a team player. And, you know, in the past, he has demonstrated his leadership skills, and he's shown it. And... Do I think he has the potential to be to be a, a great quarterback for us this season? Absolutely. But the key things is, you know, he has to be sharp on his game. I mean, I know I've said that a lot in my videos about a, not just him, but a lot of different players, but nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, it, there's really not a better way to describe it. He has to have, have accurate passing. He has to protect the football. That's the big thing right there. He's turned the ball over way too many times in the past, and you know, if he's going to have a, a breakout senior, uh, excuse me, a breakout senior year and try to get us to a na another national championship appearance, then, you know, we can't have any, there's no room for error. you got to be sharp out there. No mistakes, because our opponents, doesn't matter if it's Temple, Navy, or even the big boys like Oklahoma and USC, they're going to take advantage of it. So, you got, all I can say is Tommy Reese, he's got to be sharp. I mean, and, you know, because really there's not any really other any other options. He's the best chance, I think, for us to win of the three quarterbacks that we have. So that pretty much sums it up. And I, I hope he gets the job done and has a stellar year. Now, defensively, uh, a couple things I want to point out first. Uh, we did lose a couple of guys. Uh, backup safety, Nicky Barati. Uh, we lost him to the season to an ACL injury. And, you know, my... Uh, you know, prayers and thoughts are with him, and I hope he, uh, you know, rehabs well and comes back even stronger next season. 
And the unfortunate news, as most of us Irish fans know already, linebacker Danny Spahn, he has officially announced his retirement from playing football um, due to uh, issues with migraines. And, you know, it really sucks to lose him, and it really sucks that, you know, he can't, he can no longer play the game anymore. But, you know, even a, a hard-headed fan like myself and a die-hard fan, you know, you got to come down, come down, come back down to earth every now and then and realize a human life is more important than any game. And I think he definitely made the right deci decision for his life. So, Danny Spahn, the best of luck to you. Thank you for, um, you know, for your service as a, as a member of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, and you will be Irish for life. But going on to the defense for this for this year, um, despite the two losses, I think we're just fine at defense. You know, we have a stacked uh, defensive line, and you know, with guys like uh, Lewis Nix, Stephon Tuitt, uh, Sheldon Day, Kona Schwenke, um, Tyler Stockton had a great spring game, so I'd expect to see plenty of him in there. And going to the linebacking core, you know, this is going to be the time of year where the guys like Dan Fox, Carlo Calabrese. Prince Shembo, they have to step up big time. But also, this is, but in, in addition to them, this is a chance for guys like Eshaq Williams to step up as well. Uh, Jarrett Grace also, and uh, also look for uh, incoming freshman Jaden Smith to get some uh, some crucial playing time early on in his career. And you know, if that kid is everything that I've seen on his highlight tapes, he's going to be great. So look out for him in the in the next few years to come. And hopefully, he has a breakout season this year. Um, going to the cornerback scenario, or scenario, situation. <laughs> as you guys can tell, I'm a little rusty with my with my wording, but I'll get better as the season goes along. Uh, the corner situation. I, I, honestly, I think we're in better shape than we were a year ago. I mean, we had a lot of question marks at the position, but Bennett Jackson, Kavari Russell, they came in and they did a great job. And, you know, I, I don't see anything less than you know, than what they did last year. I think they can only get better. And in addition to them, we have Low Wood coming back. We got we have uh, newcomers in there like with uh, like Cole Luke and uh, uh, I believe the other guy's name is Devin Butler. I could be wrong. Um, but uh, and uh, Josh Atkinson. So there's plenty of talent there for uh, for the corners. And then at safety, you got Matthias Farley coming back, Elijah Shoemate. Um, uh, I forget. The, hold on one sec. I got my computer up. <laughs> I know this isn't very professional. Not what a. There's a uh, key names that I'm forgetting here. So I just wanted to look them up. Be prepared. <laughs> Eiler Hardy. How could I forget that name? Chris Badger. Austin Collinsworth. Incoming freshman Max Redfield. <laughs> Sorry guys, I wish I was better prepared, but I'll work. I'll work out the kinks. I will work out the kinks. I promise. But um, so yeah, guys. Really, based on all that alone, we're we're still in good shape as we were a year ago. I mean, clearly there's a you know a few question marks. Um, so, but really, you know, I don't see any reason why we can't make another run at a, at a national championship. You know, we got we have the tools to do it. We just gotta, you know, we just gotta show up and play better. That's all I can say. I mean, last year was an incredible run. I mean, it was great, and you know, of course, of course, everyone's counting us out already because of you know the off-field crap that we've had going on. But you know what? As I've always said in the last four years that I've been making these videos, let the critics talk. Honestly, I could care less. No, as a matter of fact. I don't give a, a crap whatsoever what the critics think. Because if anything, the, the negative criticism, it only makes the Irish better as a football team. And just just build off of that. Use that to your advantage, guys. Because, uh, you know, we're the real deal. I mean, just because of what happened in the national championship game, you know, that doesn't mean we're not a good football team that we can't do it again. And it certainly doesn't mean that we can't play better the next time when we get on the big stage like that. So, but at this point in the video, guys, it's clear that I'm just kind of ranting and raving all over the place, so I'll just wrap the video up. Uh, <laughs> a couple of things I want to announce real fast is, first off, to my good buddy Shamrock Jerry in Ireland, I give you a special shout-out, my friend. 
Um, special shout out to all the guys uh, here on YouTube that make videos for Notre Dame football. All you guys in the TTC, I look forward to interacting with you guys throughout the year. And also, uh, special another announcement about uh, uh, my affiliation website, NotreDameInTheEndZone.com. If to all the Irish fans out there who watch my videos and were a part of that website, long story short, we had to uh, we had to remake the entire site because of uh, the last site was uh, gotten infected with a bunch of viruses. So, uh, but long story short, Notre Dame in the end zone is back up and running. So, if you guys want to go ch uh, check it out, re -sign, sign up again for it, you're more than welcome to. Uh, it's still kind of a work in progress, but you know my uh, my, administ my head administrator, Sir John and Irish Rick, they're doing one heck of a job to, uh, you know, get it ready in time for the season. But we'll we'll just have to wait and see on that. But you know, and, uh, all Irish fans and hell, any fan of any other team, you're all welcome to come join Notre Dame in the Endzone.com as well. But just you know, just if you're a fan of a different team, just realize you're walking into Notre Dame territory. We just ask that you be civil if you do. So yeah, with that, guys. Um, that's really all I have to say for this video. Um, I'll try to do better next time. I know I was kind of uh, all over the place and had to reach for my uh, for my laptop on that one, but it's the first video of the year, and just like all all the football teams in Week One, you're working out some kinks, you know, getting the shaking the rust out of your system. But uh, I guarantee you, the videos from this point on will be a lot better, and I'll be more prepared. So with that, guys, this is Andy Sean 45 signing off. Go Irish, baby! A week and a half to go, Temple, we're coming for you.